So hi, I'm James. I'm a recovering Java programmer. It's been three days since my last line of Java code. Um, so this is like a different talk um, because uh, I was a different guy in this room for a bit of time. Oh, sorry, I, I hate microphones. Um, so um, I have been in and out of this meetup for quite a long time and um, spent a lot of time in here not understanding a word of what was going on. So if you're like me, can everybody hear me if I don't? Okay, no, all right. Okay, so anyway, this is a quick talk, I guess, about uh, what it's like to not be very good at JavaScript, not be very um, uh, good or have thought a lot about browsers and have to suddenly work in a project where it's really, really important. So if you're like me and you're sitting there kind of going, JavaScript, that's like a framework thing with the browser, then that's what I was like for, for a long, long time. So, um, so anyway, here we go. Um, so about me, I've done lots of things for various companies, mostly Java things, mostly enterprise -y Java things. Um, resisted against JavaScript and front-end programming for a long time. I just didn't really have much interest in it, and I wasn't really inspired by it for a long time. That's changed. My first JS project was the last project I worked on, which was suddenly thrust into um, Angular 2 and play very, very, or Angular 2 very, very quickly. Angular 2 was very new at that stage, and I suddenly had to get used to it. And I wanted to share with you that if you're a Java guy or a C sharp guy or whatever, TypeScript is a super way into the incantations of JavaScript. So if you're if you're like that and you're sitting here kind of going JavaScript, that sounds cool, and that's where your background is, then that's really good. So, uh, and I like motorcycles, and I have one of them. It's awesome. So, yeah. um, so here's a thing uh, I want to share with you. Again, if you're if you're a learner or if you're learning TypeScript and you're getting into that, uh, you're welcome to have this. Um, it's a proof of concept I did for this project. The back end was Play. I chose Play as the back end because I was like Node downloads thousands of files to your computer. I'm not using that. So it was really very basic. I was used to my Maven and all that good Java stuff, if you know what I'm talking about, some of you out there. So um, so for me, I chose play at the back end so that I didn't have to go through the complexity of learning all that stuff. Um, however, it's a simple POC, but it demonstrates a ton of things. So you've got authentication in there, you've got two-way <coughs> logging, we wrote a logging service that logs to the play console and back in again, persistent to a DB as well. It's got all the basic Angular 2 TypeScript concepts, um, it's got ORM modeling using eBean, if, any, if you folks are familiar with eBean. Um, and then all that, those good play uh, MVC patterns, if you guys uh, like that sort of thing. Maybe you don't. Maybe this is the wrong word for that. Um, so what it is, and it's not particularly good. I just copied another blog and basically rolled it over and then added all these features onto it. But I didn't really care about it looking awesome. So, um, so it shows the patterns. It shows how to do that combination if you're into it. So, okay. Um, why not Node? Well, I've said so. Mostly fear, mostly irrational fear, actually, if you want to know. Um, so um, so it, it seemed like there was an awful lot of files that were coming onto the computer. I didn't know who was maintaining them. There was really a lot of irrational fear. But why play? Well, there's loads of good reasons to get into play if you're, if you're on that side. LinkedIn are using it. The Guardian are using it. It's growing. It's copying a lot of what Spring was doing. And personally, I liked having Java at the back end. Um, so what you need to, to, to use this, all these good things here. Um, uh, I'm not going to read that out. That would be a really boring thing for me to do. Um, so, um, And the basic model, again, if you're interested in this particular combination, if you want a Java framework at the back end and Angular 2 at the front end, um, then uh, here's, here's a picture of the basic model. If you're, if you're a Java person in this room, not a lot of JS experience, maybe there's not a lot of you. Um, for me, it had a mustache. If any of you are bikers, there's this beard scale of difficulty thing in the biking world. So mustache is like, it's not too bad. It didn't take too long. So, um, so if you're like me, because no one ever gives a talk for the guy like me. It seems like, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to come up and say, hey, I was learning and it was hard. And, um, but uh, anyway, I didn't find it too difficult to process. So, um, so. Um, what I learned in a year, well, actually the first one's kind of a lie in the context of this, 
I'm using Node now. I'm on a project where I'm actually writing much more serious JavaScript, and it's even more scary. <laughs> <laughs> is that Node is actually pretty cool at what it does, and it shouldn't be feared. Um, again, I said this earlier, you know, TypeScript is fantastic. If you're a C-sharp, Java, old-school person, if you've got an age that you're embarrassed to tell people about, um, then it's it's really, really cool way in. Um, TypeScript, however, for me, provided a false layer of protection against the real dark evil lurking beneath sometimes. Like, uh, you, you have to really know, again, you know what I'm talking about, some of the people in this room, you have to actually get to know some of the real hard patterns and the weirdnesses of scope and this and all that stuff. And TypeScript sometimes can protect you from stuff you really need to know about. Um, Play and Angular, oh, I'm reading it, am I? That's bad. Um, so, <coughs> I just, I wrote it in five minutes, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, much less dependencies I found, and I thought that was a good thing, but that's completely irrational. Who cares on the number of dependencies, really? It's not, that's not a rational metric, but uh, it is if you're a control freak and a bit odd. So, um, and actually I figured out that JavaScript, which was a thing I'd left aside, actually demands real skill um, to do it really well, and real thinking, and lots of thinking about asynchronousness and synchronousness, and a lot of stuff that you have to think about is, in, as a Java guy as well, but in a, in a different way. So that's it. Hopefully I was less than five minutes.